three-legged team fluff pup, Sophie, and her sight-impaired teammate, Buttons, are sniffing out their territory. Let's find out more about this adorable duo in our Pup Close and Personal segment brought to you by Subaru. Jill, over to you. Oh, thanks, Rod. Now we're going to meet Buttons and Sophie, two special needs pups who found their way to Green Dogs Unleashed in Virginia. We primarily rescue deaf, deaf and blind dogs and amputee dogs. If they have the right personality for it, we train them to be therapy animals. Buttons is an amazing little Cocker Spaniel puppy. She is deaf and vision impaired, but it doesn't slow her down one bit. Sophie is a happy-go-lucky golden doodle puppy who came to Green Dogs Unleashed, needing to have her leg amputated. She has just become the most friendly, outgoing puppy that we have seen here. Buttons and Sophie have just the right temperament to be therapy dogs, and they start their training with seasoned coach, Riddle. Riddle is one of our key assets as a trainer here at Green Dogs Unleashed. Our therapy dogs start with basic obedience, where they learn all of their basic commands and hand signals. We also have a reading program we call Tales for Tales, where we teach them to enjoy story time. Hi, I'm Riddle, a GDU therapy dog. They can put their head down on the person's lap. It really helps boost confidence in children that may not be comfortable reading out loud. Here at Green Dogs Unleashed, we see disabilities as an asset. There is no stigma attached to being deaf or being blind like in the human world. Champ, reason. Equipped with their special skills, Buttons and Sophie are now ready to serve their community. The Oakland School has been around for about 50 years. Our whole mission is to help kids who have not been as successful as they should be in a traditional classroom. Adding the dogs is just one more tool, really, that we can use to help our kids. They love being with those children. When they're able to come together, they connect on a level that none of us could ever understand. We try to teach our students that all of us have differences, and sometimes the challenge of getting through those differences can make one stronger. It really helps boost confidence. They're reading to the dogs, and the dogs don't judge them. I've seen that confidence building. I've seen kids being proud of what they're doing. I've seen kids having higher self-esteem, positive changes all the way around. Sophie, brave in the face of adversity, is our final underdog contender of the game. Stay tuned to find out who gets their paws on the prize. 